So today I'm going to show you how to make a 2D level in Unity using the tile palette system. So last video we downloaded the platformer free asset pack and if we click on the folders inside we can see that there's a tiles folder and we're going to click that. Then we're going to click 2D 2.5D tiles and then I'm just going to choose spring and then PNG. And then you can just choose which, whatever size. I'm going to choose 128. So here are the tiles that we're going to be using in our game. First thing we want to do is change the size of these tiles. Since it is 128, we want to select all of them. And in the import settings on the inspector on the right, we want to change the pixels per unit to 128. So basically, we want it to match the resolution that it was imported in. So once we change that, we're going to be able to use them perfectly in, with the tile palette system. So to do that, all we have to do is go to Window 2D Tile Palette. We're going to create a new palette system. And for this, I'm just going to call it Floor. And then I'm going to Create. And then I'm going to create a file in Assets just called Tile Palette palette, select folder. Cool. So now we have our new tile palette and then all we have to do, it's very simple. We click the, what tiles we want to add. So I'm just clicking the first one, then I'm pressing shift and clicking the last one. And then I just drag it onto there. And then I'm going to make a folder here called bitmap. And I'm making that folder because unity converts these images to bitmap to put on the tiles. So here now in our bitmap, we have all of our tiles in the correct format. And then here we have our tile palette. So first I want to change the resolution of the game. Here in the game tab, I'm gonna change it to 16.9. That's what most games resolution is. And before we can actually draw on the grid, we need to add a grid system. So in the hierarchy, we can right click, we can go to 2D object, and we can go to tile map and that'll add in a grid that we can draw on. So here we have our tile map. Now that now you see our tile shows up on the screen I'm going to click a different tile here. And all you have to do is just like drag. You can just literally draw anywhere you want. If you can also click this little rectangle here in the tile palette and then make a big rectangle of tiles. You can also click the erase and also erase most of your tiles. I should not have drawn so many things. Okay, finally finished erasing it. So now I'm just going to make a little floor for our platformer. I'm going to make it a little longer on both sides. You can also press D to erase and B to draw again. And then I'm going to put some dirt under so it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to use the rectangle and I'm just going to select this whole area down here. Cool. So right now for this tutorial series, um, for the character controller that we're going to make, I'm not going to be supporting hills just yet because we're going to make our own custom character controller instead of using unities because that will be super helpful later on when you want to kind of make your own game and customize it more. And slopes are a bit complicated. There's numerous videos on how to make your character go up slopes. But for this tutorial series, I will not be covering. Okay, so we can now exit out of the tile palette. So now we have our awesome level. Amazing. So to choose a background for our game, all we have to do is go to back to the free platform game assets folder. Then we click on background, then background again, then PNG. Then we choose the resolution, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. And then background. And then here's our background. And then all we have to do is drag and drop into the hierarchy and it will place it in our scene. So as you can see from our scene, our background is on top of our floor and we do not want that. And there is an easy fix. So when dealing with sprites, you have something called sorting layers and sorting layer basically determines what's going to be rendered first and last. So whatever's above in the sorting layer will be rendered in front of what's lower in the sorting layer. So for our floor, we can go to tile map, we can go to sorting layer, we can add a sorting layer. And then here we can add a new layer called platform. You can also, instead of doing that, you can just choose the order in the layer. 
but for now I'm just gonna make a new layer. So now I'm gonna select platform and as you can see since the background is on the default sorting layer and the floor is on a higher sorting layer, the floor gets rendered on top of the background. So now what if the player goes this way and there's only one background here? So there's two ways to do this. The first way is that you can simply click on the background, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then you can move around the background and kind of clip it together. So when, when you see they're near, you press V and then you kind of drag it onto that corner and it clips automatically. So you can just do that again. You can press V again and clip it. So this is great and all, but the bad side of this is that you're going to have a lot of images in your scene and that's not very optimized friendly. So another thing you can do is just make the image follow the main camera, which I will be covering in the next video. So now I'm just going to add in a tree to make it a little bit prettier, the environment. So I just go back to the free platform gaze assets folder and then I go to environment, then new detail and then I'm just going to press 2x which is the size of the image and then we can just drag and drop that tree in there and we can put the sorting layer to default so it can remain in the background and you'll see if we put the order in layer to one it's going to be rendered on top of the background now it looks like it's going to be rendered on top of the background anyway but just in case putting the sorting layer the order in the layer is always useful because sometimes Unity might get confused on what to render first. So now we can put a nice little flower here. See, this one doesn't render in front of it. So we could just put one in the order and layer and bam, we have a beautiful environment. So before the video ends, I want to add in some enemies. So first I'll click on the enemies folder in the free platform game assets folder. Then I'll click enemies again, then PNG, then I'm going to click 128 by 128. So it'll be the same size as the other ones. And then same as last time, let's change the pixels per unit to 128. And this is just to make sure that Unity will render it the correct size. And bam, we have our little guy here. And as you can see, if we press W, we can move him around. If we press E, we can kind of rotate him, but since he's a sprite, he doesn't have a 3D body. And then we can press R to scale him in whatever direction we want to. You can also scale him up here. So I can put the scale to two and then two, and that'll make him bigger. And then the last thing I'm going to add is some spikes. So here's a spike. Here's another spike. I'm gonna make these a little smaller so you can select both of them. And then I'm going to put the scale to 0.5 and then 0.5. And I'm going to make sure the sorting layer is in platform with an order of one. So it's kind of above the platform itself. And then I can select the individual spikes and just adjust their position. So it looks more realistic and bam, we have our little environment. Cool. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to do a simple 2D character controller in Unity using the new input system. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content and are interested in learning more, please subscribe and like the video and see you next video.